I don't know. Uh, you know, watch the film and see. Uh, it's never as good or as bad as you think when you watch it on film. But I'm proud of the way the guys came out here and played hard. You know, they, they kind of stepped right in. And, you know, we talked about it all week, what it was going to take to go win this game on the road. And, and we, and we kind of came in hitting on all cylinders. And I thought we tackled well on defense. We created some turnovers again, created a short field, and, and we ran the ball. And that, that was great to see. I thought the line did a good job. The backs ran hard. And, then, and we, you know, Justin made some throws. We made some really big-time throws. And uh, when you combine all that together with good special teams, you know, uh, I'm proud of the way the guys played. Was there a message you sent to the country tonight in prime time, if you will? No. I mean, it's... This is just us trying to improve every week and get better. And uh, you know, this was a, this was a major challenge for us. So I'm proud of that. But we still got a long way to go. This doesn't mean anything if, if we don't keep it going. Front row left over here, Bill. Your defense again, Jeff with the two picks and uh, Jordan with the interception. Just the way you smothered them. How much of that is is the fact that they go against your offense every day and it feeds? You guys feed off each other, both sides of the ball? Well, in, in spring and then in preseason, we go against each other and really compete hard. And it's iron sharpens iron. And uh, but, but I think the coaches are doing a great job getting these guys prepared. I, I think uh, Jeff and, and Greg are doing a great job. I think the whole defensive staff prepares these guys and really works hard on that. And I think, you know, physically, when, when you look at what Mick does and get these guys ready that way, because when you come into an environment like this, uh, you have to be prepared, you know, mentally, knowing what you're doing physically. And then emotionally, and when you can do all those, all, all three of those things, you know, they can have a night like we did. And that, there's a lot that goes into that during the week, and it goes back to how we practice. And uh, we practice really, really hard. And uh, we always say that it goes back to your training when you when you go step on the uh, on the field. And uh, if we can keep this thing going, then we have a chance. Right behind him, Bill. Ryan, this is probably the best collection of offensive skill you guys have seen to this point, and it might be the best collection you see moving forward, or at least for a couple more weeks. Uh, I'm just wondering if you had this game circled at all or in your head at all as, as, a, as a true benchmark for where you guys were defensively and then how you think those guys did. It's something that when we looked on the schedule, we knew this was going to be hard. Uh, we kind of assumed it would be something like this environment, even back in February. Uh, it was going to be hard, you know, and Scott and those guys do a great job. And so, uh, you know, we, we've been preparing for this game for a while. And, and um, you know, I don't, I don't know, again, you know, in terms of a benchmark or anything like that, uh, but anytime you go on the road and have to win a night game, uh, we, you know, we know it's not easy in this conference. So uh, it's just one other game. We're 1-0 on Saturday night, and that, that, that's the goal. And then uh, we regroup tomorrow, and, and we're up to Michigan State. So. They did some, some look like, you know, almost traditional live form kind of option stuff they tried to hit you with. Does it seem like your response to that was put four backers in the field? And I know you've got this bullet position, and you're just trying to be sort of buried in your plan. But how much through these five games so far do you just feel like you guys have a lot of answers for whatever team might throw at you? That was that was a great job by our staff of adjusting because that was that was a curveball. They they did some things there that uh, some throwback stuff there. Uh, it was and they were coming downhill there for a second. I mean it was it was a good good job by our defensive staff of, of adjusting and, and kind of getting that under control because you know there, there's there's been games I've been in where someone throws that on you and you, and you can't adjust. You know you, you you if you're not ready for that kind of stuff. So again I, I thought our guys did a good job adjusting on the move. Hey, folks, just FYI, Coach Greg Madison is in the very back. If anybody wants to talk with him, we're going to go over to the left shoulder over here, Doug. Ryan, the way your offensive line has played this year, especially on a night like this when you have Josh in there at right tackle, just where do you think that line is right now? In terms of the offensive line, just yeah. the way they're playing. No, well, I, when you look at Josh Allaby, he's somebody who uh, you talk about having a great attitude and being a team player. He comes in and steps in at right tackle, and you know, we'll see how he grades out. But I know that line did a good job blocking people. And so, uh, I mean, I noticed him on some plays doing really, really well. So uh, to have a guy like that step up and play, I think the way he played, that's a tribute to our depth and, and stud and, and everybody up front. Uh, you know, hats off to Josh, man. He played really, really good tonight. I think. I'll have to watch the film again, but, but I'll have a better idea when we talk this week. But, but he stepped in in a big way. And we've seen Justin's running ability. We know that's there. You know, we know that he's been judicious with it. You guys have been. But, for instance, the first touchdown when they play good coverage and he just runs it in like that, what kind of stress does that put on a defense when he has that ability? Yeah, we went through it all week with, with Adrian because he does the same thing. You know, he, he can do those kind of things. And when you have everything covered, uh, and then all of a sudden you, know, you have to worry about him scrambling. And, you know, when you have to put a guy in, and spy him, that's one less guy in coverage. So it certainly is a huge <coughs> advantage. Uh, front row left, uh, Austin. Ryan, this might be hard to exactly quantify, but you've said that Justin is ahead of maybe where you thought he would be. And you pointed to this first six weeks as being important for his development. How, how 
far has he exceeded your expectations? Yeah, we'll see next week. I mean, we we're, we're got a huge one next week against a, you know one of the best defenses in the entire country. So that, that's going to be a huge one. Uh, up to this point, he's done a really good job. Um, still really hasn't played four quarters yet. You know, hasn't been in, in, in the fire where you got to go win the game in the fourth quarter. So we'll see. Uh, but, I, but I thought he made some big-time decisions tonight. He made some big-time throws. Um, you know, did a great job with his, with his legs. Uh, you know, ran, ran a clean game, managed the game again, uh, no turnovers. So, uh, again, a lot of credit to him. He's doing a great job. Right next door, Ari, the way that uh, you just mentioned that he wanted to, he hasn't played four quarters, is that part of the emphasis of leaving him in as long as you did? What was the, you know, thought process behind that? Well, they're a great team, and they, they're no huddle, and, and they, they can strike at any time. It's a good offense there, and I just – uh, wasn't sure at that time, you know, where the game was going. They kind of came down and scored. Chase was out of the game, and um, it was kind of it was, it was, that was a tough decision to make. But we decided maybe one more drive to keep those guys in there and, and be smart. Um, but uh, you know, you look back sometimes, you know, you, you can second guess yourself. But uh, but that was the decision you made at the time. How hard is that though to, to tell? Yeah, it's, a, it's a good problem to have, but but it certainly is gut wrenching because you know you don't want to lose anybody at that moment, but at the same time you also don't want to lose the game and, and get it get it out of hand. And all of a sudden, you know we've all seen that before. You know the UCLA game last week. You know, or, or all of a sudden a couple of things happen, and uh, heaven forbid we fumble that kickoff return with Jamison, and now all of a sudden you're in it, and, and that's what scares the heck out of you. So. Uh, you know, those are the decisions you make. We're going to go three more questions with Coach right here, but just FYI, folks, Austin Mack and Malik Harrison are, are in the back. Over here to the right, Steve. Yeah, Coach. Uh, last week, Adrian Martinez, 446 yards total offense in Illinois. You guys held him to 121. And I know, obviously, there's opponents and everything else, but just your thought of the job that coaches, players did in putting together a plan to contain a guy who's not easy to get taken. Yeah, I mean that was that was the goal going in because uh, he's he's the guy who gets that offense going, and, and we knew that coming in. Um, and uh, and Adrian's a heck of a player, and, and he's going to continue to be a heck of a player here. Uh, but I thought our guys did a good job of running the ball, tackling, um, and, and when we had opportunity to get turnovers in, in the pass game, we made those catches. Um, sometimes that doesn't always happen. You know, it's like you get your hands on a pass and then you throw it out. Oh, we almost had that one, and the next play goes for a first down. Well. We made those catches, and guys made plays. Even the one that you know uh, Jeff caught that was a little bit uh, funky there. He was on the ground and caught it, but he made the catch. Yeah. And you got to make those plays, and, and hats off to, to all those guys, Jeff and, and Jordan. And then also Damon makes a great job. They ran a double move on us, uh, with a slant and go, and, and uh, you know, he covered that, which was huge in the game. So you know, those little things add up, you know, especially in that first quarter. And final two over here, we're going to go Adam, and then after Adam, Rob. Ryan, uh, other than Justin and a few others, all these guys were part of last year where things weren't easy very often. I'm just curious, what have you seen their approach to, to these games or any games or just anything? How is that different from a maturity standpoint, a growth standpoint from last year to this year? I think anytime you have experience and you've gone through this before, uh, it's it's important. And I, I asked the guys how many times, how many guys have been in this the stadium before, and I think it was maybe you know half of them raised their hand. So you know, there's some experience in this group. And, uh, and those guys are hungry. You know, they want to play good. And, uh, you know, when I do bed check at night, they got their tips out and all their notes, and they're watching film, and they're, it matters to them. And, uh, you know, we're talking about what it means to be a pro. And they're, they're grabbing on to it, both sides of the ball right now. Uh, it's a group, it's a really good group. We've seen, we've seen snippets of Justin's running. Uh, it really kind of came alive, I guess. He really flashed. Is this been a plan to reveal it slowly, and it just happened to come forward tonight. And is that something that you guys talked about is going to have to be there to play the top tier opponents as, as you go on, even in the potential postseason? Uh, yeah, no, no. I mean, it, it, like we talked about early on, it was going to be a journey, and where this goes, week in and week out, it changes. Um, having the ability to use his feet is, is is huge, though. I mean, that that's a weapon, as we talked about. And it makes a huge difference. Uh, but he's also a really good passer, and we have a really good offensive line with multiple tight ends. So we like to do all of the above, you know, and just try to put as much stress as we can on the defense. Great, coach. Thank you very Thanks, much. Coach. Hey,